Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. I am Big Red and I'm your host. I have a project here, it's called The Modern Age. It is a group of 22 songs, written over a period of many years, compiled here as a collection of songs about these times we are living in and living through and getting through and finding our way through. A total adventure, you must admit. The first set of 11 songs are songs about more personal adventures of learning and of coming of age and of figuring things out, or at least attempting to. Uh, for uh, Act One, um, how about a cityscape as the uh, as the background? Uh, you know, neon lights and businesses and establishments and street lamps and uh, you know, you can picture that. Very busy experience, the modern age. Uh, so you have the kid who is coming of age in the modern age. Um, another key player in the thing would be uh, what I have called the muse. There's always that person you know that's a few years older than everybody else that knows all the ins and outs of what you're trying to figure out. He can offer great advice to you if you're paying attention. And how many of us are paying attention, you know? Um... The other people uh, in this first act, I call the cohorts. They are roughly the kids' age. They are also trying to figure out and uh, figure out what they're doing and trying to see what it is everyone else is seeing. And you can, like I said, decide who is who in there. It's you and everyone you know, the modern age. Perhaps people sing the song, sing some of these songs together, uh, different lines by different ones. Sometimes it's just one person singing the whole song. You can look at those and decide. And that is Act 1. Act 2 is supposed to be a group of songs that are about all of us together as a people and as a society. And it's a different concept there as far as the stage is concerned, <clears throat> whereupon each one or maybe two or three different uh, songs can be played with a certain backdrop, like, say, uh, something simple, something uh, impressionistic on the stage, something... Uh, Maybe there's a um, slideshow in the background of modern uh, of the modern age and its thing doing its thing. So those are the two acts of eleven different songs, with a small break in the middle for people to uh, powder their nose and so forth. Um, what we will be hearing is. Um, uh, tunes that we've recorded as albums, we uh, I, uh, we got together with our stable of uh, musicians first uh, back in 1996 and recorded a group of songs called This Elite Band. There will be five songs from that. Um, fast forward to around the year 2000 when we did a second set of songs. They were called Songs for the Modern Age, and that was when it was dawning on me that a lot of these songs had themes like that. I didn't set out to do that. And um, there are eight songs from that that have made the cut on this rock opera, The Modern Age. Um, there were no songs written for many years, and then uh, got back to it, and uh, just about a year and a half ago, me and um, our people went into the studio and started recording a third album of songs by yours truly, to be forever known as Images. And guess what? They're images of the modern age, the way it works for me, I guess, when it comes to songwriting. And so there are nine of them. Uh, those songs are not completed, but they capture the gist of these tunes, and that was really uh, necessary for this project so people can get an idea of what I'm thinking. And so there will be me uh, with uh, a little bit of narration Introducing the songs, why they kind of fit as the modern as uh, part of the modern age, and then um, uh, we will cue the tunes up, and then I'll be back in between each songs as outros and intros, and that's the project you'll be listening to. I hope you get a kick out of it. Then, uh, the first song is where the kid is. Uh, it is uh, becoming clear to him 
that the modern age is not a piece of cake and that uh, if you're not careful and you hang with the wrong people and make some bad decisions, uh, you can regret it for a very long time, perhaps the rest of your existence, you know. And it is a song called Far As You Can See. So we have introduced the kid. Ever been someplace you didn't think you should belong? And somehow somebody whispers in your ear, you have no business being here. And you know, you look around in the modern age and you see those people and they come and go in your life. As if to say, it's not up to me. Zombies of the modern age. The modern age is chock full of zombies, right? And they're all up and marching and running. So the title track is what is the next song? A song called The Modern Age. It's the title track of the second album we did. It is the title track to this rock opera and this rock collection called The Modern Age. There's originally two songs. One called The Modern Age, the other one called Arrows in the Sand. And I could never get either of them finished. And uh, I thought I'll just stick them together. And then in this particular circumstance, I think it allows for different cast members to sing this song. The muse can chime in with some of these. One of his cohorts can certainly chime in with some of these, the kid himself. And so, uh, a hey, march, The Modern Age. Nothing happened here, you listen what 
what I say No matter any way To understand the best you can There is no plan Only arrows in the sand Bad old days were here to stay It's just the way of arriving in to stay, hope I get by okay, the road ahead goes straight, don't have no time to wait, just hope that I don't stray, won't matter anyway, who's to save us from the pantomime, when we don't even want to know the lines, just a bill to chase the blues away. Surviving in the modern age For surviving in the modern tell you when they turn the page the price you paid for living in the modern age you know, many years ago I had written uh, I thought you could write lyrics and make songs but of course that's not the case you have to write music first and the lyrics will be plucked out of the universe I didn't know that for many years and I had written this particular poem that was many stanzas long full of stuff, if you can imagine it. And it ended with this line um, uh, about uh, the price you pay for uh, maybe not knowing the rules to some game or until it's too late or rules to life until it's too late or something like that. And uh, the name of the poem was The Price That's Paid. And I, I lost the thing. I looked for it. I could never find it. And I was real proud of it. Could never make a song out of it. But I can only remember that last part about the price you paid, which is kind of a good thing. Because, you know, there's a price you pay for living in this age and all of its complexities. You know, if you go back a period of years, all that mattered what was going on in the other holler and what the weather was doing to you, whether you had enough wood inside for the night. Instead of knowing what everybody else is thinking at every time, at every second, and an impossible number of opinions on a million things. Anyway, the next song, this was uh, a tune written about the same time and has a similar concept to it, whereupon people are wondering, what is this? Is this the real thing of some kind? Is this a neat thing? Is this good or am I being fooled somehow? So often we are fooled into thinking we've got something on our hands that's real cool and groovy and then it's not. But a lot of things hang in there. But... 
but anyway, it is a song called Is This the Real Thing? Cityscape is the backdrop. The modern age, in fact, is the backdrop. And all its enticements, and all of its real things. And you get to decide which is which. And don't be so cynical as to think that if this is the real thing, that you'll believe until the future brings us all around to the other way. For example, this guy in the next song, does not feel that way. He is perfectly happy in the modern age and doing what he is doing. He's a little bit of a zombie, but he's uh, got it figured out and it's working for him. And he's chasing something. He's trying to get somewhere. And the map is the treasure. But in fact, all of us, uh, to some degree, 
are on the exertional. And uh, every day we're waking it up and dragging it out of bed, dragging ourselves out of bed and doing it all over again. Another time around. For some people, another time around might include million dollar deals, might include a lottery ticket. It might include, you know, bad habits. But anyway, in the modern age, very often, uh, it's comical. And this is a song called Another Time Around. Let me leave that little bit of uh, chatter on there for your enjoyment and pleasure. So, um, we've had this ordeal out in the uh, modern age cityscape in the street and seeing this guy going by to his whatever and wherever in the uh, very busy existence of a city in the modern age. But anyway, the kid and some of his cohorts, perhaps even the muse, would look around and say, Man, these people are pretty far gone. And of course, uh, we all have friends and family, and especially the older kid, to recognize, Man, this one's gone. This one's pretty... <laughs> this guy here, he's pretty far gone. Will we uh, get him back to normal? Will he be the dude we used to know before whatever happened? Before he began believing all the wrong stuff. And you can't do that in the modern age. It's very dangerous. You uh, better be paying attention. The next thing you know, you are pretty far. You are so far gone, maybe too far gone to get back. And this song we recorded about two months ago, again, with Buzz's boy, Tony, the drummer. He has uh, been our drummer really since before his dad passed away in 2008. Uh, and... Uh, we never knew what he could do in a studio. And uh, this uh, song, this song called So Far Gone, and uh, goes like this.
to have his way He don't really have a lot to say And it ain't like he knows what he's been missing He didn't even hear he wasn't listening Cause he's so far gone by Ask you what you meant by that Did you really think it went like that And wasn't it you Who never asked why Were you afraid That you would just cry Cause it's so far gone by Come calling Once again The sky has not fallen You looked up And couldn't believe your eyes The only thing the night Had told you was lies Cause you're so far gone Gone by now Yeah Anyway So um, We are observing this Yet again Another Creature uh, Or group of creatures Struggling to figure it out Anyway, we are going to um, go from the cityscape into uh, an establishment, maybe like a small bar or a pub. Change things up a little bit. We get inside there, and there's interaction between a guy and a girl, whereupon the guy has uh, not gotten anywhere in his attempts to get this girl's attention. Did some really dumb things, like said some things he should not have said, and uh, made the observation to him that uh, perhaps staying at home would have been a better thing to do on this particular night. Songs about unrequited love can fit anywhere, of course, in a uh, age of any kind, right? We are a uh, theme for the ages. Song called Hey Baby. Originally, the name of the song was Should Have Stayed at Home. When, we, when I played it for people, they said, Play Hey Baby. I thought, well, that's not the name of the song. But I think I know which one you mean. It's among the great songs in E, including, what, Peaceful, Easy Feeling and Rocky Mountain High. And, uh... Anyway. Song called Hey Baby.
Oh yeah, yeah You know I don't even know why I came here tonight Cause I was hoping maybe something would turn out alright I never needed to run into someone like you Now I know that I shouldn't do What I'm about to Why, oh why are you picking on the low me? You know the fool is the one that you don't see Why, oh why did you have to look so fine? If that was all the father it went The pleasure surely Another drink or two is all I need to get me by I'm gonna laugh but baby you may cry But you won't like it, it doesn't matter what I say You're the only one who wants to be I do you the best I can I know that pretty girls Have a hard time picking out a man I know other losers Will keep from going home and on It makes me feel like I should have stayed out Yes, hey baby. Do pretty girls have difficulty picking out a guy? Or maybe she just wasn't having any, <laughs> any of you. And maybe you should have stayed at home. I remember that particular night I wished I would have stayed at home, but at any rate. Uh, it's a good opportunity to introduce the band, shall we? It all began uh, with my brother Buzz, John, uh, who uh, was a drummer. And uh, he was beating on things from the very beginning. Uh, at age 10, he had built his own uh, drum rig at home. Tinker toys and God knows what. Uh, my mom bought him a snare drum. And uh, she told us recently that it was her mom. My grandmother, Italian lady, we called Minnie. She said, you should buy that boy a set of drums. And they did. And uh, we were never the same after <laughs> Well, our, our ears have been ringing ever since. But anyway, uh, there was a... Um, um, I was a teenager before I realized that not everybody else had a live band in their basement. We had a live band in our basement for as long as I can remember. But anyway, um, after uh, a stint uh, in the military, uh, he uh, came back and uh, uh, moved in next to uh, a couple of career musicians, Rayford and Sadie Faircloth. They've formed a band, they said I uh, put out a, uh, an ad in the paper for a bass player, and a guy named Bruce Tabor responded, and uh, he has been with us ever since, forever since, Bruce Tabor, he's from the other side of the Licking River, and uh, that makes him a cake eater, right? But anyway, he um, uh, is uh, any stereotype you want of a bass player, and uh, 
he fits the mold. And uh, he's been our bass player ever since we left the guy. But anyway, my uh, brother Joe Shields uh, played guitar on several of these. Uh, first album, I uh, was in, involved in the second album. Some uh, not yet worked with us on images, but anyway, he's a songwriter himself, working a lot of his own stuff. Uh, the um, Some of these guitars were played by a guy named Tom Byer, who uh, is from the other side of the Ohio River in Ohio, and we are Kentuckians. We met him when he had played in a blues band with Rayford in the 90s, called Cross-Eyed Cat. Played several... Uh, our guitar parts on Songs for the Modern Age. We had named the band the Elite Band because one of our older brothers said, how come you never call me when y'all getting together? I'm not one of the elite, he would say. We didn't call anybody. Everybody just kind of came and knew what was happening. If you don't know what was happening, you aren't one of the elite, man. What can I say? You were invited. You were always invited, of course. Everyone is. Anyway, back to the opera, if I could. Um... We are still on the street, uh, on the streetscape of the modern age. Uh, guys just said, uh, it's just uh, determined about, you know, thinking he should have stayed at home and uh, all that. But um, we've got another dysfunctional feller uh, in this establishment. Maybe he works there. And maybe he was fond of that song that said, you can take this job and shove it. But uh, he wants everybody to know that he's sick of this place and... Uh, Nobody he's going to be missing when he's gone. And then he gets out into the uh, modern age and finds out that it's not always so welcoming for people like him. I mean, you have quit your job and now you want to work here. And we're going to wonder what kind of an employee you had made at the other place. And what kind of employee you might make at this one. But anyway, um, this is a song called No Direction Home. And it speaks to the formidable challenge of trying to establish yourself uh, as your own person, doing your own thing in the modern age without being chewed up and spit out by all your dreams and aspirations. Uh, modern age is very good at that. Anyway, no direction home. <laughs>
No direction home. Anyway, um, so that is song number seven on this first of eleven. The first of eleven. The first half. Of the rock opera called The Modern Age. We are still in this little establishment on the cityscape of the modern age, with the modern age, in fact, as the backdrop. And uh, seeing characters fighting with it and struggling with it and trying to figure it out. Trying to see the real thing from the non-real things. And uh, fighting through episodes of Unrequited Love, what can you do? But anyway, we now move on to the back of the establishment where there's an employee, maybe, I think, a girl. There have not been a lot of girls in the modern age, if you have there are places for some of that, but really girls have been behaving so much better and they don't really make a lot of themes and they really can't take a lot of shots anyway, right? But guys, boy, oh boy. They generate a lot of themes and uh, we're not picking on them. We're just sort of singing songs about them. But anyway, this one here, this girl, she's been working and I think I would say when it comes to the guys, in her life, maybe they haven't been great. You know, girls need the support and the help of a dude, right? And um, it's dawned on her that she is still going to work with the uh, street light shining on her. And uh, comes to the observation, really, maybe that's the only thing that's showing on her. And you know, maybe with girls, you know, some of them got that little part in their brain that doesn't develop right. And they just can't really look at a guy and say, man, this guy's got it. And maybe, uh, who knows what they're seeing. But she's been around a lot of heartache and heartbreak in the modern age. And there are those people having to work the menial jobs of our fine and fun society. And this song called Lost Causes was originally called The Light of the Night. And in fact, I have gone to work a lot with the light of the night shining and... Anyway, a song called Lost Causes.
keep that one. Another song from Images. We can keep that one. <laughs> um, you know, I feel bad for the girl. Um, but this next guy and this next song does not. Uh, this is a song called Moving On. We just recorded it, in fact, last night, which would be, what, April 12th of 2016. Um, regarding the short attention span of creatures in the modern age... This next song is about a guy, uh, or is a guy saying, uh, hey, uh, don't miss out on stuff. Uh, don't cry about it if you do. And uh, regarding how long he's going to hang around, for as long as it's fun. After that, let's look. Uh, I'm jumping off of this, folks. I'm moving on. There's cooler things to do. And uh, you need to be able sometimes to find out and recognize, you know, I'm kind of on a little different track here, a wrong track. Maybe I can go a different direction. Yeah, this was fun for a while. I'm going to do this next. And uh, that's what he's saying. And, you know, who slips down the right path anyway? Do what you do and let the chips fall out where they may. But when it's come and gone, time for me to be moving on. Uh, here we go. Song called Moving On. Maybe you've been missing out, but baby, don't you cry It's complicated, I know, but don't ask me why Gotta get where you belong Just hope it doesn't take too long But how could everybody else be wrong? Got another little trip to try A lot of days shining through the blind again Same old thing going through your mind Something to find again And it's a great big world out there But you can find it if you dare And if it's just me then I don't care But it looks like time again But who slips down the right path anyway Let the chips just fall out where they may It's come and gone and it's time for I thought that was funny. Usually a good sign. Uh, but anyway, uh, moving on. Wondering about a chorus on some of these songs. Uh, if you notice, there are some things where people can uh, 
thing to the other, like, hey, it ain't no direction home there, dude. <laughs> it's a long road that you walk alone, like everyone that you've ever known. Um, uh, we're going to revisit the character of the muse. Uh, he's been in on, I think, of some of these songs. Again, somebody can decide who, who sings what, and I know he can chime in with some of those. Uh, some of these different lines. But anyway, this is a song uh, that he, I think, has to deliver to the cast. These cast of youngsters running around trying to figure out the modern age. And uh, it's where he says, you know, there's a lot of you in you. There's a lot of you in your all's uh, act. A lot of me and a lot of uh, self. And you know, to serve the self is to defeat the self and destroy the self, right? You see it everywhere you want to look. When it's about you, it goes bad quickly, especially in the modern age, when you can figure out that it's about all of us and all the fun we can have together, boy, all of a sudden, incredibly cool and groovy things happen. But there can be no vanity, because with vanity comes heartache, every single time. Vanity and heartache, all I see. Never thought I would write a song called Vanity and Heartache, but here's how it goes. Another song on images, Tony Baloney the drummer. Um, coming to the end of the beginning here of the first half, the 11th song is called Broken Promises. 
This song is um, off of the first album we did back in 1996. And it is as if to say, hey, broken promises or, you know, who, who promised you what now? You know, it's like um, if you think somebody has done you wrong or if you want to blame, boy, I tell you, you want to go uh, bad in a hurry in the modern age, you go ahead and blame somebody for something. Because after all, there is nobody but you to make your dreams come true. And who will care if life has been fair or not to you? This is sung by the kid, Broken Promises. Broken promises Are only dreams Someone's taken away The shadows of the night Are often known To end up this way When you believe in angels And never hear a single word they say there's nobody there but you To make your dreams come true And who cares Whether life's been fair or not to you You can climb a mountain Even if it's higher The harder you try Broken promises. So anyway, that concludes Act One of the rock opera called The Modern Age. We, we have an opportunity to take a small break, 
and then come back with a second set of songs. <laughs>